소리는 들립니다. 아, 화면도 나오네요, 이제. 아, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 아, 반갑습니다. 어, 오케이. 어떻게 제가 이름을 부를 때 영어 선생님이다 보니까 아무래도 영어 이름을 물어보게 되는데 영어 이름이 있나요? 네. 저는 영어 이름은 없고 그냥 한국 이름으로 아 그렇군요 좋은 이름이네요 음 알겠습니다 선생님한테 뭐 배우고 싶은 게 있습니까? 뭘 배우고 싶을까요 나한테? 어... 라이팅이요 라이팅이다 어 뚜렷하네요 뭔가 딱 배우고 싶은 것이 사실상 라이팅은 지금 현재 미국 대학원생들보다도 챗 GPT가 더 잘하긴 해요 챗 GPT는 그래요? 써본 적 있어요? 아니요 저는 없... 그렇게 쓰... 많이 쓰진 않아요 그렇습니까? 선생님은 챗 GPT를 돈을 내고 쓰고 있어요 한 달에 한 3만원 정도를 내고 써보고 있는데 상당히 괜찮더라고요 아... 세상이 참 빨리 변해서 이것저것 해볼 게 너무 많습니다 뭐 새로운 거 배우거나 이런 거 좋아합니까? 네 어, 아, 선생님 소개도 안 했네요. 선생님은 영어 이름은 캐니라는 이름을 쓰고 있고 처음에 예전에 이제 공부할 때그 근처에 같이 공부했던 태국 학생들이 제 이름을 지어줬어요. 캐니라고. 근데 나중에 알아보니까 그 이름이 캐니스의 이제 짧은 쇼폼이더라고요. 그래가지고는 둘다 쓰고 있습니다. 선생님 이름은 김준석이에요. 음, 네. 어디 운동하다 왔습니까? 아, <웃음> 물을 자주 마시나 봐요. 선생님도 물을 되게 많이 마시는데. 전 지금 뭐 먹고 와가지고 조금 목이 말랐어요. 맛있는 거 먹었습니까? 네, 핫도그 먹었어요. 맛있었겠네요. 뭐 그런 음식 좋아해요? 핫도그 같은 거? 그렇게 자주 먹진 않는데 좋아해요. 아, 그렇군요. 핫도그 좋아하면 튀김 음식이잖아요. 핫도그는 아무래도, 그죠? 네. 튀김 음식 좀 좋아하는 편이에요? 해산물, 해산물은 안 좋아하는데 막 돈가스 그런 건 좋아해요 아 돈가스 하, 선생님 중국에서 한국 식당을 했었습니다 거기서 돈가스도 아. 팔았었는데 선생님은 선생님이 만든 돈가스보다 맛있는 돈가스를 태어나서 먹어본 적이 없어요 그래요? 음, 그리워요 그래서 내가 그때 만들었던 돈가스가 그때 그 도구들 장비들 다 있으면 그대로 다시 만들 수 있을 것 같은데 아, 그렇습니다. 그때 참 맛있게 먹었는데 돈가스도 좋아하고 핫도그도 좋아하고 또 좋아하는 음식 뭐 있어요? 어... 해산물 빼고 거의 다 좋아해요. 해산물 안 좋아한다? 음, 괜찮네요. 선생님도 해산물 별로 안 좋아합니다. 아, 그럼 과일 얘기 한번 해보자. 과일, 과일 그러면 은 내가 말해볼게요. 이거 포도 좋아합니까? 아니요. 아 어, 잠깐 기다려 잠깐, 잠깐 또, 또 뭐가 있지? 포도 말고 뭐가 있는데 바나나 좋아하죠? 바나나는 데 좋아해요 줄 좋아하죠? 네 해산물 싫어하는 사람이 나는 그렇거든요 해산물 까시 있어서 그거 귀찮아서 안 먹거든요 포도도 별로 안 좋아하는 게씨 있고 이런 거 되게 안 좋아해요 그냥 바나나처럼 그냥 간단하게 까서 먹을 수 있는 이런 걸 좋아하지 좀 게으른 편인 것 같아요 선생님 그런 면에서는 라이팅에 대한 얘기를 했어요 영어랑 한국어랑 차이점이 있는데 그것 때문에 이 차이에 대한 이해가 되고 거기에 대한 훈련이 되면 되게 되게 쉬워져요 선생님 같은 경우에는 24살 정도의 영어를 처음으로 배웠다고 생각하면 돼요 영어를 정말 못했습니다 I'm hungry로 말을 못했어요 그 당시에 그래서 I'm hungry, glee, glee 이렇게 해서 L 발음이 났거든요 계속해서 그래서 참 많이 힘들었던 기억이 있는데 나중에 이제 언어에 대해서 연구를 했어요 이걸 이렇게 배우는 게 최선인가 한국 사람들은 왜 이걸 이렇게 가르치지 이런 것들을 계속 생각을 해봤는데 그게 아니더라고요 네. 언어를 생각을 해봤는데 선생님은 그렇게 생각을 합니다 모든 우리가 하는 말들은 그렇다, 아니다, 그러냐 이세 개잖아요 이거 말고 또 있습니까? 몰라요 어... 딱히, 딱히 없어요 솔직히 그렇기 때문에 yes나 no나 그러냐는 퀘스천스가 나오는데 그리고 또 이게 그랬다면 은 언제 그러냐에 대한 시제라는 게 있어요 시간에 대한 얘기가 있단 말이에요 여기까지 네. 잘 따라오고 있습니까? 네 제가 하나만 물어볼게요 
구구 하면 답이 몇이에요? 응. 어, 그잖아요. 그럼 4, 4? 16. 그래요. 이거 어떻게 알았어요? 맞고 아니냐에 따라. 아니까, 어, 그쵸? 그렇긴 해. 배웠으니까가 맞긴 한데. 훈련을 했기 때문에 아는 거예요. 어렸을 때 이거 해봤죠. 이, 이는 이, 뭐 이는 이가 네. 이, 이는 이, 이는 사 이런 거 했잖아요. 네. 정확히 이게 그거랑 똑같아요. 그래서 자기가 필요한 거를 바로바로 바로 뽑아낼 수 있는 능력을 기르는 거예요. 근데 아무도 이 훈련을 안 시키더라. 그래서 영어는 사실상 구구단이다. 라고 말할 수 있습니다. 저는 그렇게 생각해요. 그렇다면 여기에서 우리는 영어에는 두 가지 다른 동사들이 존재해요. 일반 동사라는 것과 비동사라는 게 존재하는데 이두 가지가 뭔지 알고 있나요? 비동사는 will, do 이런 거고 음흠. 일반 동사는 action 음, 그래요. 일반 동사는 액션이라고 했는데 일반 동사는 액션이라는 이 부분은 어디에서 배웠을까요? 누가 가르쳐 줬어요 이렇게? 학교 어 제가 캐나다에 갔다 왔을 때 음흠. 선생님이 어 verb 동사는 액션 워드라고. 그쵸 맞아요 네, 일반 동사는 액션이 맞아요 잘했습니다. 자 여기에서 그러면은 여기에는 액션이에요 그래서. 일반 동사란 말이에요. 그러면 여기에 들어갈 수 있는 가장 간단한 문장 하나만 만들어 볼래요? 평소시제. 그래요. 평소시제가 뭔지 알아요? 들어본 적 있나요? 네. 지금 일어나는 일. 아니에요. 그건 현재 진행시제죠. 아. 평소시제는 평소에 일어나는 일이에요. 이것 때문에 사람들이 많이 헷갈립니다. 아, 평소시제. 음. I wake up. 좋아요. I wake up. 자, 이게 뭐냐면은 이 일은 이 이거랑 똑같은 거예요. 제일 쉬운 거예요, 여기가. 그러면은 우리는 9981까지 갈수 있는 능력이 있는지를 봐야 돼요. 그러면은 평소 시대에서 I wake up을 썼으면은 이거를 과거 시제로 바꿀 수 있어요? 그럴 능력이 지금 있습니까? 네. I woke up. 좋아요. 됐습니다. 자 그렇다면 미래 시제로 옮기면 어떻게 될까요? I will wake up. 좋아요. 자 그러면은 현재 진행 시제로 옮기면 어떻게 될까요? I am waking up. 오케이. 제 수업이 필요 없을 수도 있어요. 자 현재 완료 시제. I had woke up. I had. I had. Woke up. Okay. 자 그러면 이번에 여기에는 그렇다를 말해봤으니까 여기에는 그렇지 아니하다 어떻게 바꿀 수 있을까요? 어. 이 이는 사. 이게 되냐 그거예요 내 말은. 그러니까 만약에 제가 평소에 안 하는 걸 말해보라는 거죠? 그쵸. 아니죠. 이 wake up, I wake up을 부정문으로 바꿀 수 있냐 그거예요. No 아, sentence로. I don't, woke, I don't wake up. 오케이. Okay. 다음. I did not wake up. 오케이. Okay. I did not wake up. 좋아요. 다음, 미래. I will not wake up. Okay. I mean, 다. I won't. 그죠? 축약으로 써도 되고 괜찮습니다. 둘 중에 하나 써도 뭐 아무거나 되면은 현재 진행 시제로는 어떻게 될까요? 어, uh, I did not wake up. Okay. 자 그러면은 현재 완료 시제는요? I hadn't woke up. 
자 그러면은 이번에는 그러하냐 라고 물어볼 줄도 알아야 돼요 이거 의문문으로 바꿀 수 있습니까? 이게 이제 2, 3은 6 정도 되겠죠 여기가 만약에 어 자기한테 자기 자신한테 만약에 have I woke up or 아 그죠 그런 식으로 가면 될것 같아요 Yeah, just uh, simply you can just uh, make this as a question here. Like, okay, I'll, maybe I'll just give you an example. So this says, I wake up, right? Then maybe I will say here, do I wake up? Or did you wake up? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Because did is, okay, I shouldn't say anything here because I want to check which part you're not understanding right now. And that's the, that's the, uh, you know, that's the place that we must begin from. So... Okay, so can you just do it? Sure. Okay. Did I wake up? Here. All right. And next, what did you do here? Did I woke up? Okay. <laughs> It's all right. You know, if you make mistakes here, be glad. It's because today is the last day you make this mistake. I'll change the whole thing. So, what about the third thing? Future tense, what did you say here? Am I going to wake up? Okay. And next, present continuous tense. Am I waking up? All right. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Am I waking up? Okay. Okay. Did I? No. Have I woke up? Okay. Well, then, probably I need to ask you one thing here. Uh, do you actually realize the, uh, the three changes of the word? Here, awake is the verb. So, do you know how it changes? It's just a, uh, yeah. for example, play is like play, played, played. That par past participle is the same as the past tense here. But what if I just put here wake? Then what did you say? What's the second thing now? Woke. Yeah, that's right. Then what about the third? Woke. Okay. All right. Or awaken. Uh, you don't know. Maybe I can ask ChatGPT. Let's go. Okay, make a sentence, you know, because you're not sure, right? Then maybe you can ask the, you know, ask ChatGPT, but with the perfect English sentence, then you can answer. How would you make this question here? Can you tell me all the different forms of break? All the different, and then what do you say? Forms of uh, wake. Okay. You might just understand. So woke did you did you find the answer here? Yeah, woke or wake, woken or wake. Uh huh. But um, Waking. I'm asking you the third change of the verb. So is it simple past or is it past participle? Is present participle? Which one would that be? The past participle. That's correct. Yeah, in Korea we call it PP, but it's uh, yeah. I I I don't like the sound, but. <laughs> Past participle. Okay, that's what it is. So, what did you write here? Awoken. Uh, okay. ChatGPT isn't always right, so you need to be careful. So, you know, wake, I would say, and it will just show walking. Right. That's right. That's just walking. Okay. So, now you know, and there might be something you want to change, but that also includes 
here. So I saw everything I needed to. And let's move on to the next verb. And what did you call this verb? I mean, Which one? this this one. So yes. I said to be right here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe you can just make the same thing like two by two or two by one, like the simplest uh, sentence in uh, the verb be using verb be. How would you make it? Oh, the verb be? Yep, to be. I like to be healthy. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's just uh, do a simple, simpler way. So uh, subject plus to be plus, I don't know, noun or adjective. I. I, good. Want to be. Want to be, no. It's because this want is the action. It's the action. So it doesn't oh. fit in here. So I would just probably say I be, but then you need to change it. B has three different forms, right? M, R, R N. What's the last thing? Do? No. Nah. Is. Oh, yeah. So what is the most suitable one for this case? The subject is I. I am. That's correct. So all the others, I'll just delete them all. And now you have one more thing to say, noun or adjective. What did you say? Can it be a pronoun? Uh, Try it. Please try it. What was that? Oh, 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 oh I see. Okay, that's possible. But then. It will be a little funny. Oh, actually, actually, there's one reason that I want you to use a like English name is because, you know, I record everything, including this class too. And then I will later just filter some part that has uh, personal information. But if you use your name, just a real name, then that might be just exposed to everyone. So that's why, um, how would I do it? I don't know. Oh, then I'll say Leo. Leo, okay. Uh, is that R L? L E O. L E O. Oh, Leo. Okay, 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 okay. Then let's go with Leo first. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, I think. It's because you know when you apply that to all the different uh, tenses, maybe they can turn into something fun. Okay, so I'm Leo. Good. Then now my question is, can you make it until here, the last part here? No. Why not? How do I see it in the past tense? Well, you know, in another universe, maybe it's possible because you, uh, I don't know. Hypothetically, maybe you are a different person and now you, uh, I don't know, just I can make any story. I can ask ChatGPT to make story, you know. But then we are just uh, trying, uh, we, we are just trying to see if you know the structure. So. Let's say it's possible. Okay. I was Leo. Very good. That's that's what I said. It'll be fun. And what about future tense? Oh, 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 I will. Will be Leo. Okay. I am going to be Leo. Ah. All right, I see. Just up to you. I had been Leo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And what about no sentence? I am not Leo. Okay. I was not Leo. Okay, good. Um, I will not be Leo. I am not going to be Leo. Next. I had been not Leo. What? Okay. That doesn't make sense. Uh, uh, think about it. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give you another sentence now. I hadn't been Leo. Okay. <laughs> and next. Or am I, am I Leo? Okay. Next. Um, 
Was I real? Uh huh. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, structurally, just that's that's correct. Will I be Leo? Mm hmm. As if it's a job, huh? Um. Am I going to be a Leo? Okay. Um, uh, I don't know. This one's hmm. hard. Confusing? Yeah. Did I okay. have been... Did I been Leo? Uh-huh. No. You know, maybe, maybe this is it. And uh, let me tell you, would you, would you want to try passive voice too? Or do you know passive voice and active voice? Uh, no. Okay. Active voice is maybe I can say, uh, you know, uh, maybe I'll just uh, give you the difference between passive voice and active voice. Active voice, I can say, I eat apples. That's active voice. I do something. Subject does something. That's active voice. But when I use this one, I mean, when I change this one into the passive voice, I will say apples are eaten by me. Have you learned this one too? No. Uh huh. I see. Okay, then. I mean, uh, maybe. maybe I could try. Maybe, maybe I, could I, try. I could give you give you better better example. I'm sorry. Okay, so I can say, uh, my friend. Oh, somebody broke the window. But we don't really say somebody in this case because somebody is not important or we don't know. So what's important is the window was broken. Good. That's what I'm talking That's called passive voice. Broken. Of course, if you want to add, you can say by somebody. But we don't have to. We usually don't. That's yeah. passive voice. So to make passive voice, it should have been the transitive verb sentence, but it's just intransitive. Do you know intransitive verb and transitive verb? No. Transitive verbs, they can have object right away. Like I eat apples, apples object. Yeah. But uh, wake is, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This can be transitive verb if you have object mm -hmm. I wake you up that is transitive verb but in this case is intransitive verb because it doesn't, yeah. doesn't really have object yeah okay so maybe I'll just uh, make one sentence I think maybe I say uh, I was I am I'm confused This confused can be can be adjective, but then also confused is the transitive yeah. verb, so we can consider this as a passive voice sentence. Okay, maybe you can change this one. I was here. confused. Very good. I was confused. I will be confused. Okay. Um I am going to be confused. Okay. Next. I had been confused. confused. Do you say have or had? Had. Okay. I I am not confused. Uh huh. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry I didn't even ask. Uh, do you have time for this? Because, you know, if you are busy doing other things or you have next plan, then maybe I should make it short. So uh, it has been about 25 minutes. And then do you have time for this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes mothers don't really care. Okay, so next. Yeah. Um. I was not confused. I wasn't confused. All right. Either way. Um. I will not be confused. Uh huh. Next. I will not be confused. No. 
it's the same thing. <laughs> Something's wrong, right? It's awkward. Yeah. I am but it's all right. Me. Be happy about it. If you make mistakes here. Wait. No, I can I can change it. I will not be no. I am not going to be confused. Alright. I am not going to be confused. Uh-huh. Why not? And next. Um Maybe I could say I hadn't been confused. Uh-huh. Okay. And what about the question? Am I confused? Very good. Am I not confused? Will I be confused? Will I be confused? Um, am I going to be confused? Uh huh. I'm saying confused so much time, it doesn't sound like a word anymore. Well, you'll be confused. Yeah. <laughs> um, ha have I been confused? Okay. All right, now I know what's the problem. I can analyze it later. I can do it right away, but the. Uh, it might take a while and so like we've been trying this one and also uh okay maybe we can try this one too so here sorry uh, this is like quizlet.com isn't it and yeah. there are, i made a few things here maybe we can just uh, think about it so what i'm saying is it's simple maybe for you is simple but then you still make some mistakes because you experienced a lot so by the experience you know almost everything and these are not wrong but for people hey hey, hey let me let me just uh, think say uh, talk about this one first uh, so did you go to like korean academies to check if you're okay you know in terms of like skill of the english now you have yeah i have level test yeah some kind of level test that uh did you did you see the result or did they tell you about it? Yeah. And how did you feel about it? Um, I thought I need to work on more of writing because I was my scores were really low in writing, but everything was good <sighs> and grammar. Well, uh, okay, uh, yeah, now, uh, now, now I know that uh, you heard the result, and then I am quite angry right now is because. The way they uh, not at you, but at the at the at, yeah, academies, how they uh, test you and then do the level test is like they don't really consider how to how you speak and how, what kind of potential you have. They just saw some small like minor mistakes, and then they try to put you into some kind of like half year or one year session to correct those small mistakes here. That's what makes me angry. Oh. You are, your English is really good, actually. Okay. So don't worry about it. If you were, please don't. Okay. So uh, here, maybe we can try this one a little test. Maybe we can just put it like 10. And this is the same thing here. But then this test is just a random me asking you like the Korean sentences and you need to turn them into English sentences. So I don't know, maybe I do first and then we will see how we do too. So I don't know, he wasn't nice or cool. Maybe I don't know. I made it like ages ago. Uh, will he learn Korean? And he is being nice. He is not nice. Are you following? Yeah. Am I eating apples? Okay. Did he learn? Very good. And I will be kind. 
I will eat apples. Eat an apple. Did I eat apples? Eat apple. Okay. I have been kind. All right. Did you just try to say I had or have? Probably had, right? Yeah. Small mistake. Just little thing. Don't worry. Yeah. Even I made a mistake. He wasn't nice. Oh, come on. He wasn't handsome. Uh, uh, oh, he was not nice. Okay, yeah, maybe handsome is the right word. But anyways, just it's the structure. So uh, probably we could try, um, I don't know, maybe 10. Just uh, let's try 10. Okay. Okay. He will, um, I am kind. Okay. He was, um, he's not nice. He's not okay. handsome, I guess. Yeah, but uh, I think I used nice, so we'll stick to nice. Okay. He will not be nice. Uh huh. Am I kind? Mm -hmm. He learned, he is learning Korean. Wait, spelling. Okay, and this? He is becoming nice. Okay. But uh, actually, this one, I'm pretty sure I used being. But anyways, those are similar. So, he's being nice. He will not learn Korean. Uh -huh. um, he will learn Korean. Mm-hmm. I am not eating an apple. Mm -hmm. Eating. I am not eating apples. Doesn't matter, apples or an apple. Um, is he nice? I see. So okay, now self-analyze. Then uh, what what do you, what do you think is wrong here? Oh, it's like saying um in the future. Yeah, 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 right. The tense problem. Okay, okay. As long as you know, it's fine. And this. Oh, it's the same. Like I can't eat. It's like well. And I okay. When you analyze it and to uh, analyze yourself, uh, do you think the problem comes from Korean or English? Did you understand this tense? Kind of, yeah. Okay, what do you mean kind? So now you have time, right? So now you see the sentence and do you see this one as a future tense or just present tense? It says 건가요, so uh -huh. I guess it's So you're, tense. you're not, are, uh, can, you, can you say uh, if you're sure about this 건가요, the sentence with 건가요, or are you not sure? Uh, I'm sure, I guess. Okay, I see, I see. That's enough. And this? I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not. I'm not saying you're wrong. It's it's, it's pretty usable and it's okay, but to understand the tense, you need to understand the present tense which is 평소 시제 in korean i always call it that way and that means it happens 평소에 so that's why i said the present tense here but anyways yeah i think uh, i'm not saying it's wrong so what else is there this one is he nice will he be nice again it's the future tense oh yeah says, will he okay like so he i will. i just did it to check your korean not english okay all right, so I don't know what to think, but then anyways, I'll just put it somewhere and then I'll look into it. Okay. Your English is actually very, very good. It is, thank you. 
welcome. I'm just saying the truth. Okay, so now let's talk about what you want. So, all right, I can fix this. You don't understand a few things, and I can fix this. So, even if you read a book, then those books, they are in this like 45, about 40, not about just exactly 45, 45 cases. Yeah, almost all the, like most of the sentences are this case, these cases. Okay, and uh, you have something wrong here somewhere and that's it. And I'll make a video about it and then you'll see it. Okay, I can fix it. And what else do you need from me? I guess some vocabulary. Vocabulary, okay, let's go. Then there's vocabulary, and then, okay, when we talk about vocabulary, how do you know if your vocabulary is good or bad? I mean, you have enough or not enough. Yeah, I have not enough words. How do you know? When did you feel it? When I was like, trying to expand my sentences, sentences and writing. Uh huh. Or I, I have to make my sentences like more. How do I say it? More. Better. Yeah, better and harder, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do you say harder? Um, what do you mean harder? No, like I have to use words that are like better than like I don't like if I I am happy. I can change that to I am excited. Like something more expanded. So like but um I'm not really good at that. I, I I guess you're looking for something. Some people use about, but some people use when it comes to. So you're looking for that case, right? You want yeah. something better. Yeah. Okay. And okay. my mom said I need to learn more vocabulary because I don't have any words. Maybe. We'll see that. Okay. You know what? We only have one minute left. I'll re-invite you and uh, I guess I'll see you soon. I mean, in a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'll re-invite you. Let me think about it. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Hello again. Yeah, hello again. So this is about vocabulary. It is? Okay. Yeah, but uh, I think maybe you need to turn on your camera again. I think it just it worked and uh, now. Yeah, 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 it works now. So as you can see here, it's, uh, it shows the frequency. And then look at that. It's the big data. And in yeah. America, yeah, they just did it kind of i don't know they gather some big data here so look at that so people use this the the article the 50 million times so that's the rank one the most common word or most used word and then let's go all the way down and then do you know the word here can you see it is it big enough Oh my, what did I do? Oh, oh come on. Don't say I did. Small as ants. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just click the wrong button. Clumsy, uh, eh? Okay, so 50-50. What about this word? Do you know this word? Blizzard? Oh, this bizarre. Bizarre? Uh-huh. No. But I know what predator is. Okay, so so maybe you're here, not here. <laughs> All right, then uh, let's just go by, uh, I mean, go 100, 100, and now we're just 1,000, I guess. Okay, so let's see where you are now. Then uh, 1,000, what about here? See, I know. Of course, right? 2,000. Yeah. All right, so what does, it, what does it show now? Necessarily, like commonly. Not exactly, but I think I I I I think I know you know that. Okay, fine. Three thousand. Three 
All right. Retain. Like get it back, I guess. Mm hmm. Okay. How do you? How did you guess? Do you exactly uh, know, or tame. did you guess? No, I already. I actually know. Tame means like to put it in something or like keep it mm -hmm. and re do it again. So re getting it, getting it again. I see. Okay. Seems like you know the the origin too. <laughs> Four thousand. Ah, it's too easy, isn't it? Yeah, that's too easy. Like yeah. calm. Okay. Then uh let's go one hundred more. Then uh maybe more? I'll just uh yeah, what about this? Oh ridge. It's like my sister. Um it's like a deep hill. Uh -huh. Um it's like a deep hill underwater. Really? Let me just ask GPD to uh, draw me bleach. It's like a, I'm gonna draw, like, it's like this thing, like, in a underwater. I see. Do you know okay, what good. No, I don't. I actually don't. You don't? Yeah, maybe your vocabulary is better than mine. Uh-huh, I see. Where did you see it then? Oh, I went to a class and we're doing a research and we we're talking about the ocean. Uh -huh. and I found the word bridge and I asked the teacher. Some kind of science class? Uh, sure. I see. Well, I don't know if this is rich, but then ChatGPT just drew it. Okay. Then maybe 100 more. Comment. Like asking people what to do. Mm -hmm. Like order, right? Forcing you to do something. Right. Okay. Sidewalk. You know, like the road where the car goes. It's like you know, you know. Okay, that's true. All right then, four hundred. Tuck. Mm -hmm. Like if I want to tuck my shirt in under my pants, or I like. I get tucked in when I sleep. When well, I go to bed. I mean, I, I, uh, it makes me keep like ask. It makes me keep asking myself like, what does this boy need? Because I don't know. Like you have it all. I'm not saying know. this is perfect, but I'm saying okay. What do I do? What do I do? You know, hey, uh, okay then. Let me just do it because you know some of my students they they didn't know how to speak in english at all but then i taught them and they can speak in english well now and so i gave them some kind of homework and then they improved a lot and now what i do is i told them to write what they want like about anything and then ask chat to make it better and then learn from it that's what i told them so let's say uh is there anything that you want to talk about for like 10 seconds it's fine 10 seconds just 10 seconds something short i want a ps5 what was that i want a ps5 oh that's what, what about... my, me and my dad want what you <laughs> okay i i got i got my xbox uh x xbox series one is it x is it i don't know the 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 the, the, the most expensive currently but uh yeah ps5 is better choice this Okay. Why do you think that? What? Think what? Why do you think PS5 is better? Because they have exclusive titles and which you can't play in Xbox. I chose Xbox is because Xbox has this Game Pass system, right? So that I can just pay a little amount of money, then I can I I can just uh, access uh, get an access to all the games they provide. But then those games were not fun at all. So even if you 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 want to pay for each game, then you still want to buy PS Five for the exclusive games. That's what I think. Yeah. Say it. Why? Okay. 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 Why? Why you and your dad need PS Five? Say it. I'll write it down here. Wait. We don't need. We don't technically need it, but we want it because we have like. 
We have a Nintendo Switch, but we want a PS5 because it has more games and you can download stuff. Okay, uh, we need PS5, even if we have Nintendo Switch currently, is because some games are not playable in Nintendo Switch. And, yeah. No, 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 no. This is what I will do. I'll show you. Okay. Yeah, I like the Spider-Man. I want to... That's what I'm talking about, Miles Morales, and I also like two, right? I haven't played Spider-Man yet, and I don't, I don't have PS5, and I regret that I didn't buy it. I chose over uh, PS5. I chose Xbox over PS5, and I regret that. Okay, wait a second. So what I will say is, please make my sentence more natural. And it will rewrite the sentence. Even though we real already have a Nintendo Switch, we even though we already have a Nintendo Switch, we still need a PS5 because some games can't be played on the Switch. Okay, uh, maybe I can ask uh, too short, so it will make it longer. No, no, no. Maybe slightly longer. I want um, the sentence to be longer. more. Profession, professional. Yeah, professional. There you go. All right, so uh, I don't know. Maybe this will sound different now. Given our current possession of a Nintendo Switch, the acquisition of a PlayStation 5 remains imperative due to the fact that a number of games are not compatible with the Nintendo Switch platform. That's how you uh, persuade your mother, you know? Professionality. You need to speak better. All right, so I think that's what you're looking for. You need better sentences for that. In the past, you need better, I mean, people with better uh, like speaking skill around you, but I think that's no longer a thing because you have this and what do you want to learn from this? Because, you know, I think you want to learn how to make this kind of sentence like yeah. past participle. Yeah, that's what you want. Okay, now you know. You need to uh, you need to find something you didn't know exist, and that's what you're doing here. And acquisition, right? This word, did you know this word? No. Okay. Even if you knew, the problem is, will you ever use it? No, because you're not trained. You need to train yourself. That's not how you do. So I'm gonna yeah. show you this system. This is how I study Japanese and. Look at that. I have 13,240 cards, which are sentences and vocabulary, like words, and they are Japanese. I self-taught, I self-studied Japanese for like 387 days. And there, I can show you 5,349 cards. They are in my long-term memory now, which means I can just get it out whenever I want. How I, that's how I trained, and then I'll show you. So maybe I can just uh, open this. And then I'll just, uh, this is about 5,000. And I can get anything here, and then I just see it. Do you understand? No. 喉が, 喉が乾きました. I think this is like I'm thirsty. Yeah. And when did I see it last? Let me see. Uh, maybe I can. How do I do it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll do it this way. So. It shows the history of each card I have. So look at that. The first time I saw it was 2022, December 6, p.m. Yeah, and the last time I saw it is 2023, November 3rd, the 3rd, 2 o'clock, which means the last time I saw it was already like three months and more ago, right? Yeah. And I still remember it just like that. So if you want to learn something, you need to put it in this system and then use the list time for the, I don't know, 
most outfit. So okay, I, I'm gonna do more, a little more. I don't know what I will have here. Can you read it or can you understand? No, I don't speak Japanese. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Uchi no Uchi no Musuko wa Uchi no Musuko wa Daigaku Ichinenzen des. Maybe, and that means uh, my my son is a uh, university first year student. Uchi no Musuko wa Daigaku Ichinenzen des. He doesn't look so. He looks old. But anyways. Yeah, he does. <laughs> okay, that's the that's the father with the son's back. I think. Okay, anyways, what I'm saying is here you see 5,000 sentences and I have it all in my head as the form that I can take out any time I want. So is that what you need? Yeah. Okay, then you have a few things. You need the system. You need the, you know, like map of ignorance, should I say? Like something you don't know, but you don't know that you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and you need to discover it like you know there are like two two things like you don't know you don't know is the one thing here big chunk then there's part you don't know that you don't know there's part that you don't know and you know it that you don't know you need what? to divide it oh come on do you not understand or what oh uh, you're like you're saying i do understand but i don't then i do well, but then that's the only way that I can explain. Because you don't know, but you don't even know that you don't know. That's one part. And the other part is oh. you don't know and you didn't study because you, you didn't choose to. Oh, okay. But just now that one, acquisition, this word is the, the perfect example. You didn't know. Now you know. But will you know tomorrow? No, you will not. And even if you know and you remember it, will you use it? No, of course not, because you are not trained. Yeah. So you need the training plan. My English might not be as good as yours, but the problem is, not the problem, but the what I have is I find path. I know what to do and how to achieve. And I know how to set the training. How can I say it? Like field boot camp, some kind of things. Okay. So I don't know. If that's what you need, then I can teach you. But... I don't know how long because you might need my class for long, just a short time, and you can do it all, all by yourself, just like I did because I'm almost like English self-taught. Oh. Yeah, like I spent nine months in Malaysia in a language school, and the first four months, I started dreaming in English and then like sleep talk in English, and then I started uh, my business. That time my English wasn't that good, but I started anyways. And okay. then for that nine months, except for that nine months, then I taught myself. That's it. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I don't know. I'm still thinking, what can I do for you? I know what you want, but I need to think. I need to sleep on it. Okay, what else? What else do you want to know? I don't know. The next thing. I don't know the next thing. Okay. Too, too much information now. Like I am digesting now. Okay, that's it for now. Then I think I need to think a lot about it. Okay. It was interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's it then. I guess that's it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Hopefully, see you soon. And I think, yeah, uh, yeah I'll, I'll think about what I can do for you. Good. All right. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Mm hmm.